<coughs> Let me just put that on the record. So the setting is Pam and Mick's house, Christmas Day, Christmas dinner, 2 p.m. Oh, i got a tap of glass and I haven't got something. Hang on. You have, right? What are you drinking? I have, right. Here we go then, right. Oh, right. Thank you, Pam and Mick, for a lovely meal. Right. That turkey was the best ever. Slipped down a treat. Now, before pudding, Jason and I have something we'd like to tell you all. Don't we, Jason? Mm. Oh. I'm not sure now, Glenn, to be honest. Hang on a minute. We've missed a bit out. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm not sure now. Oh, Stace, it's not all about you, love. Get over it. Jason, we've talked about this and we both decided it was for the best to put a stop once and for all with the snide looks and sniggers. What's a chocolate bar got to do with it, I've got red? I said Snickers, not Snickers. <laughs> oh, sorry. The thing is, Uncle Bryn, I've been mulling it over, <laughs> and what's in the past should stay in the past, surely? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Smithy did that apart. <laughs> right, at this point, Mick is supposed to have said... Yeah, come on, Bryn, now's not the time, but I don't know who was playing Mick. Was it Aaron? I think it was. <laughs> yeah, come on, Mick, now's not the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mick, shut up. Let the man speak if he wants to do. All you want to do is play with that organ of yours. <laughs> now's the perfect time, Michael. Thank you. Don't let me down, Jason. You promised you'd stand by me and there's no going back. I've got Bryn. You know it happened. They know it happened. Can't we just leave it at that? No, Jason, we agreed. We know it happened. They know it happened. They know we know we know it happened. What they don't know is why it happened, and that's why they need to know, so we know they know once and for all. My uncle friend, I know we know it happened. I know they know it happened. I know they know we know it happened. But do they, know, do they need to know why it happened? Can't that just be... You and me who know why it happened and leave it there. <laughs> no, Jason, I can't live like my life like this anymore. Every time Pam looks at me, I'm wondering what she's thinking. I can't go to the Costco in Barry no more for the funny looks I get. And as for the man on the waters of the fun fair, he just smiles every time he sees me. My life is hell, Jason. You know that, don't you? It's the same for you. Yeah. Who's Pam? <laughs> <laughs> That was Lise, wasn't it? Yeah, no, but then you didn't give me a speaking part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That's an omelette. That's an epic fail here. All right, so I'll, I'll have to do Pam. So Pam is... <laughs> I don't look at you funny, Bryn, apart from where you wear those cardigans. I buy those from Primani. Only when the sales on mine are not made of money. <laughs> I don't know. Who did you have done that? <laughs> <laughs> the village I live in back in Spain have no idea about me. They all think I'm lovely and as, as hardly you, it makes no odds. But what about me, Jason? What about me? I can't live the rest of my life wondering if the good people of Barry see me as some horrific demon who did something unspeakable with his nephew, even if it was completely innocent and legal. You must see that, surely? Oh, my good friend. Of course I see that, but we know what happened and nothing really happened, so can't that suffice? No, yeah. no, Jason, the time has come to reveal what really happened and you're either with me or I'm going solo. And you'll have to live with your guilt for not supporting me in my hour of need long after I'm gone. Oh, on your own then, I'm off. Well, <laughs> friend. Oh, Get on with it. We've got Christmas pudding to have, and then some cigars and brandy. And I, for one, can't be doing with all your daily dilly dallying. If Robert Mugabe had been indecisive when I was his political advisor, we'd never have got nothing done. Or Mick Jagger, the time he asked me what I should what should come first in the set list, got me to thank for the right choice. Hang on, <laughs> I'm losing it. Here. <laughs> and the Queen cancelling her Christmas lunch. Got me to thank for that. As I said, get on with it. <laughs>
Right. Well, well, I can't fit in because I've got children in my ear. No, yeah. no. <laughs> right. Stay right there, Jason. It was so cold. We've been night fishing. Caught a few. Not much. And I misheard him. What he actually said was, could you hold on to my pollocks for a moment? <laughs> and it was a moment, a fleeting moment, but one I'll cherish. Hang on a minute. None of you look surprised. What? You, you all along? Jason told you a long time back. Oh, you lying bastards. Happy Christmas. <laughs> well done, Dick. 